welcome to Poom Say with Master AJ. So today we're going to talk about aerials. This is a how-to video of how to do an aerial and what I think is the simplest method. So let's get started. Okay, so step one is having pretty good awareness of where your cartwheel is. So what I mean by that is whenever you go down, by the time you come up, you want to face the direction you came from. So from here, I'm going to start with my front knee, push down, my other leg is going to come up and around, pointing downwards, and I'm going to turn midway through the air. So here, turn. Okay, so the next thing is to learn how to cartwheel from a running start or with a hurdle. So what I mean by hurdle is that thing. So when we go into our hurdle, our back leg is going to be our cartwheeling leg. So from here, you're going to lift that knee upwards towards the direction. You want to step out a pretty decent amount. I would say a forward stance length. Jump to that. Push. So it should look like this. Just run and then power hurdle into it. Okay, so you may have noticed my arms. When I'm using my arms, I'm going to circle behind. That way I can use them to pick my chest up and shoulders up. So again, circle behind, up. Okay, so now that we have running with the power hurdle out of the way, you're going to apply that to a dive cartwheel. So when you do your dive cartwheel, you're going to go up and then last second put your hands down. Alright, so you want to apply that into your running dive cartwheels like so. Here are a few examples. Okay, so as you're getting comfortable with your dive cartwheel and the push off, we want to make sure we're checking a few things. As you're pushing up, you want your chest to go upwards as well. So you should look like kick, push, kick, up. Push, kick up. So here, that's going to help you get a lot of height in your dive cartwheel, which is going to help you put less contact on the ground with your hands, which will help you get to your aerial sooner. Once you're here, you're going to circle while driving your knee forward so you can push your chest up, push down, and kick over all in one go. So here, drive, push up. Just like that. Again, you're going to work on drive, push up. Okay, so the next thing about aerials is you're landing. When you're landing, you want to try to make sure you're landing with your knee bent and your chest starts to rise. That's going to help you start lifting to complete the entire rotation as you're flipping. So again, if I do it from a cartwheel setting, you're going to go bend, push up. The last thing about where you're landing is you want to make sure halfway through the aerial that you're forcing your one leg to go down and around. Otherwise, you can stop short of your landing. So what I mean by that is push down. So as you feel that same tipping point in an aerial, you're going to whip it down as fast as you can. So it should be a fast rotation. with Master AJ today. I hope you guys learned how to do an aerial and in future videos as part of my aerial series we'll be covering common mistakes and how to 
ask them, and different variations of the aerial. That way you can be an aerial master. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.